ever get away with that rock candy, Destler? She has a name, according to the wiki. Oh boy, that is way too much detail. Well, if you think that's bad, you should see the article in her shoes. DP, watch your miming quick. Hell, she's miming out a mallet and duck! <laughs> Aim for that popping candy beneath her. Aw, oh, come on. The Mallow Marsh was just a few blocks of cake over and hits the candy floss. Weird part selection. And the cat. Wait, Peach. Ah, uh, DP, do we know this guy? Yes, Marcus. Don't you remember back in Lego Amino he was uh, talking when of came? Hardly. Hmm, I think I see what's going on. Now, how ever did you survive that snake panda? DP, he was tapped on the head mildly. I think he'll be fine. Could you please just... Marcus, I know from experience that can be awfully dangerous. No, from what experience, pray tell? Let's just agree the words Mambo and Mamba are very similar. Okay, listen up. The panda you know is an alternate version of me, okay? Well, no is a bit of an exaggeration. I am not him. I'm the prime version. <laughs> Sure, you're the prime version, mate. Thou hast not even the correct eyebrow colour, thy prick. Now would you please tell me where in the unholy falafels I am? Well, my dear alternate panda, you're in the Cape Covenous Kingdom. Oh, and where are my manners? I'm Dr. Link. Peachy and Marcus, I know. I suppose your universe has alternate versions of us, then. Obviously, DP, there's infinite universes, you know. Isn't such a thing impossible? DP, there's a living, breathing gummy bear over there, so it can't be that outlandish. What? Hold on, I must see this for myself. <laughs> so, what brings you to the land of plaque and heart disease? I'm here in pursuit of General Jaw. Let me guess, they're an evil shark owning a military complex in your forest, and you want to be rid of them along with the henchfolk, Captain Phineas and Lieutenant Gilligan. No, he is a most ruthless insurrectionist, bent on the destruction of my homeland, so that he and his abominations may reign supreme with an iron fist. So, they're not a shark, or is the fist thing just a metaphor? He's not a shark. They say I'm a downer. Now, Marcus, there's no time to be chewing on the scenery. So, Panda, how may we help you if you permit us to? Well, there's this guy called General Jaw. Is he a militaristic shark owning an army complex in the forest with henchfolk named Corporal Mary N and Private... No. No. Okay, so, as I mentioned, my town, Taka is under threat by this General Jaw. I may or may not have a borrowed alternate use portal device and seen that he was in this multiversal vicinity. So if you have any information, please tell me. I've certainly never heard of any General Jaw, but I do believe me and my compatriot here can help you out with this task. Hey, thanks. Now hurry up, let's not tuck her too long. <sighs> Here we are, folks. Allow me to introduce you to the Hat Cave. Isn't there just where you keep all your spare hats? Well, it's where I experiment with my gag devices and work on them. But yes, there are lots of hats down here. And, uh, why is that? He's a doctor of comedic physics. Mm-hmm. 
I guess that necessitates a lot of- There's no time for that. We need to turn on the secret computer. DP, why is your secret computer just a giant Game Boy? So he's allowed to question things. Well... <laughs> it was on clearance. Anyway, if you see here, you can see that the dimensional trace left by the portal residue is clearly much less advanced. Therefore, I was able to do DP? Yes, Marcus? The screen's blank. Oh yeah, I forgot. No backlight. There we are. Now, if we take the portal residue left by that lightning, we can deduce its location. Ah ha! Here we go. Your general jaw is stuck down a well in the German capital of- Wait a minute. Oh, right. The coordinates, they are in base 8. Well, why the hell's that? Well, it's just a really nice counting system. Well, maybe to an octopus who got lost and swam into a wine barrel, but otherwise I don't quite see the logic. Uh -huh. So you see, the divisibility of 10 is much more diverse than 8. Actually, they're the same. An 8 also has a rational square and cube root. Guys, I found the location of one general. <laughs> Uh, there's nothing there. I have a certain! Quickly, Marcus, after them! Drat! I knew we should have taken a left turn at Albuquerque. Well, considering where the invisible monochromatic is right now, I don't think it's much of a stretch to think the eight ball is inside. On second thought, I do believe you're right, Marcus. I must commend you for setting up a base so quickly. <laughs> oh, give it up, you cretin. The damnation of talk is inevitable. <laughs> you're clearly not very genre savvy, then. Okay, Marcus, here's the plan. I'll use this ejector seat to bounce onto the roof, where I'll then throw bomb inside next to the door, where you can then come in and catch everyone off guard. Well, if we don't want to be in till next year, then it'll work spiffingly. Look, give me a boost in that window so I can see what's going on. <laughs> DP, when I said boost, I didn't mean so bloody literally. Well, someone had to use the ejector seat, since the writer certainly didn't. <laughs> ah, Doctor, so glad you and your... Minion... Could join us this evening. Watch it, you. Unfortunately, I require you three to be dead. Well, you are a third of the way done already. So, naturally, I'm humbled to be allowed to introduce you to my dear friend, Darmarquin. Nice. You just... killed them. Yes, before they killed us. Aren't you already dead? Yes, so you can take it from me when I say you do not want to do all that paperwork. <laughs> well, that was weird. Yes, quite. What do you think, Darmaquin? Alright, oh, they're dead. <laughs>